Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the Journey Podcast. I have a episode that absolutely, when I when I learned this lesson or when it hit me, it shook me to my core. Um, I was watching TikTok the other day, and, and you know, I spend some time on TikTok. It's something I do at the end of the day when I'm winding down, and uh, I just kind of want to turn my mind off and kind of just put something in front of my face so I can just like be zombified for the last few hours before I go to bed. Um, is it the most productive thing to do? Probably not, but you know what? You know, productivity is like, I feel like people are just like on a productivity, like like the Gary Vee Vaynerchuk hustle, hustle, hustle. Dude, I spend so much time watching fucking cat videos and like, as long as you get your shit done and you enjoy the journey, like do what makes you happy. For me, watching TikTok before bed makes me fucking stoked. Um, but I was watching TikTok and there was a uh, profile that came up and I forget his name. I, I watch this content all the time. It's really, really good. It talks about investing, talks about, you know, productivity, talks about, you know, um, just like good, solid life advice. And the episode or the one minute TikTok that came up was this guy talking about invisible lives. And he said, most people live invisible lives. And I got thinking like, this is like our, like most people that we see every single day are invisible to us. And they live invisible lives because on Monday morning, they wake up at 6 a.m., they start working from nine to five. And so the only experience and exposure that they're getting is their current coworkers and whatever office or building or like whatever you know company they're working for. And then at five o'clock, you know, they maybe go get dinner or maybe you know go to the gym. And then, you know, they come home and they go to bed and they do it all over again. And there's so much limited exposure to other human beings and other, you know, life events. And it's just the same thing over and over again, they wake up, they go to work, they come home, they eat dinner, they wake up, they go to work, they come home, they eat dinner. It's the same routine over and over again. And that's like normal for most people. They live invisible lives because no one, no one sees them. They're not seeing other people. They're just on their track, not getting exposure to anything else. And I thought, man, what a fucking nightmare. What an absolute nightmare that must be to just not be seen at all, not be recognized and not you know, see other people, like, it's just, it's just, a, it's just a nightmare. And, you know, they're probably looking out in the world and getting like, you know, learning stuff from Instagram, learning from TikTok and all that stuff, but no one's seeing them. Right. And I thought that is an unfulfilling way. And this is just my own personal opinion, to be honest, you guys can live whatever life you want. But honestly, if you guys are listening to this podcast and you probably are looking for something more and you probably are looking for greatness and you probably don't want to live an invisible life. Right? My mom heard me talk about this and she's like, yep, that's me. I live an invisible life and that's totally fine. I'm like, you know, as long as you're happy, mom, that's fine for you. But for myself, I do not want, want that. So I made a statement that I will refuse to live an invisible life. And so far, you know, being 25 years old, I think I've done a pretty good job at preventing that from happening. Um, and, you know, I think I started thinking about, you know, how, how can you refuse an invisible life? How can you build a life that's not invisible? And how can I teach other people to live a life that's not invisible? Uh, and I came up to the conclusion that in order to be seen, in order to be recognized, in order to make a difference, in order to not be invisible, you have to make a difference in other people's lives. You have to be of service and you have to be someone who contributes to the lives of others because they're going to see you as the person who has the resources and they're going to look up to you as a person with the answers, the person who can help them. And that's where that acknowledgement, respect, and visibility is going to come from. It's not from doing anything selfishly. It's not from like, you know, going out and partying and, you know, um, you know, buying a new car or going on, well, going on trips is pretty fucking dope for yourself, but like, that's not going to get you the recognition that you're looking for, right? What's going to get you recognized? What's going to get you seen? What's going to make you visible is how, how much you contribute to lives of other people, how much you help other people. And the more people that you help and the deeper level of people that you help, the more you're going to be seen and recognized. And that's, what's going to prevent that invisibility. So, um, that got me thinking a lot. Like I mentioned, I think I've done a good job, but for you guys who are listening, the coaching business is like your ticket to being seen because when you're doing something for other people, other people are going to start seeing you and coming to you for the answers. You're going to be recognized. You're going to be seen. You're going to have a visible life and other people are going to see you and other people are going to learn from you. Other people are going to be attracted to you. So that's how you become someone of importance and someone of leadership is that you simply just help other people get to where they want to go. It's nothing that you do selfishly for yourself. It's nothing that you you know, do flashy to get attention. It's 
how much of an impact are you making on the other people's lives? How many people are you impacting? And that's where that visibility is going to come from. That's what's going to turn you into a leader. And that's what's going to get you seen. I promise you that is so much more fulfilling than buying a new car. Because if you're li living an invisible life, and you're working the nine to five cog, you're, going, you're waking up, you're going to work, you're coming home, you're eating dinner, you're doing the same thing, you're seeing the same people, you have the same exact experience every single day, you get a new car, well, guess what? That's going to be fun for a month. And then you're just going to be driving that new car to the same job, to the same dinner, to the same people. And so that, that excitement is going to wear off. And so don't confuse these flashy, exciting things as something that's going to be deeply fulfilling. Really what's going to give you that fulfillment is how much you help people and how much of a service that you provide. And fitness coaching is a really, really solid way to do that because you are changing people's lives on a deep level. And it's a scalable offer to where you're able to help a ton of people and other people are going to see you. They're going to view you as a person with the answers and you're going to be seen. So I uh, wanted to share that thought with you guys because it's a personal philosophy that I will now be living by. And I hope that helps. Catch you guys in the next episode.